Oh, it's recording now. Ha! <laughs> I'll edit it. Hey guys, this is Greg Pesetti. We're at JTEC Jacksonville. Today we're going to show you how to pressure test your cooling system. The first thing you want to do, aside from breaking out tools and everything that's necessary, you're going to want to find out what pressure you need to test your cooling system at. Today we're going to be testing off of the reservoir right here that we see. And what you want to do is look for your cap. And on the cap, it should have a specified rating. You see here, we've got 15 PSI for this cooling system. So that's what we're gonna test it at. To do so, I'm gonna take this cap off, and set it to the side somewhere we can find it. Now, when we're using our pressure tester, we have to have a cap to put onto the reservoir. That way it's a sealed system again, and we can test it. This is the cap that's going to fit, but it may take you a moment or two to find the right application. You're going to screw your knob until it falls off. onto your reservoir, you need to connect your pressure tester. What we're going to do is pull this little guy back, just like any other air fitting that you use in a garage. It's a quick disconnect. There you go. Now, you want to pump this guy up until you reach 15 PSI for this system specifically. As you can see, we can test all the way up to 30 PSI, but sometimes not the smartest idea to do so. Keep in mind as well the level of your coolant inside the reservoir that you can see right here. You're going to expect this guy to go down. Obviously, this one's rather full, but we're going to go ahead and test it anyway. Now, all that's left to do is pump. You're going to want to stop intermittently just to check to see where you are. That way you don't accidentally overfill or over pump. Excuse me. Almost there, a few more pumps. All right, so now we are at 15 PSI. What we're gonna do here is we are going to wait three minutes and see if we experience any pressure drop in the system. If we do, if we see coolant rise, we obviously have a leak or a crack somewhere in our closed system that's letting pressure or coolant out. So now that we've reached the three minute mark, as we can see, we haven't had any pressure drop whatsoever. We've remained at the 15 rated PSI that we need to test this at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let the air off of the system. You got your little bleeder valve up here that you're gonna press. That's gonna release the air for us. And now that we're completely back down at zero PSI, Go ahead, we're going to pull this fitting back off. We're going to remove our cap so that we can reinstall the factory one. Now make sure whenever you're putting the factory cap back on, you at least give it a couple of clicks just to make sure that it is at the correct tightness, torque, that you need to have on the cab. That way it doesn't blow back off whenever the system pressurizes as the vehicle is running. And that's how you pressure test a cooling system. Thanks.